Hello people and welcome to another Pixel for Life video tutorial. Today we are going to be learning something pretty quick. Um, it's something that I've wanted to know for a while now, but have never gotten the chance to look it up. So if you've worked with WordPress, chances are you've come across something that is, I guess it's called short coding, and it's something like this. So you can throw in um, some code within the you know, like your page text in the back end of WordPress. So this line of code right here pops up this image slider. And um, I didn't want that in this code because once I present this website to a client, let me back up a little bit. This is a, um, an existing template that I am modifying. And I want to make it a little bit more friendly towards the client that's going to be back here. And I don't want to have this on here where he could accidentally go in here and make a little mistake and then save it and his image slider disappears and he goes crazy. It calls me and I don't know, threatens my life. Anyhow, so I wanted to take this and actually put it into the hard code of the website. And I was searching around trying to figure out what it's called and finally figured it out and I thought it was kind of exciting, thought I'd share. So I knew for the most part that I'd have to use something with some P, some PHP and um, turns out I was actually kind of right. So to do this, I'm going to go into my page template for, template for the home. So let me just cut this out and show you what happens. If I remove this, just control exit, go to update, and then come back to this website, refresh, you can see I have no image slider. So now, if I were to just paste this in here and save it, and then refresh it, you'll see all it does is just prints that text. So I knew something was up. So the workaround for this is fairly simple actually. What you do is you need to use a little bit of PHP, which is just uh, bracket to the left. And let me see if I can zoom in. To see if I can zoom in real quick. Ah, there we go. I got a couple of complaints. People saying that they don't want to watch the video on full screen in order to see my code. So they requested that I make the text size bigger. So there we go. So all we're going to do is use the PHP, something like this. We're just going to do the bracket to the left, question mark, PHP. And then we'll close that off with a question mark and a bracket to the left. So inside of here, we are going to write uh, echo which pretty much just means print what, what I'm about to do. So you want to do echo, and here's a code right here, do short code. And I believe this is strictly for WordPress. So this isn't gonna work on anything except for WordPress. So in these left and right brackets with a single quote, we're gonna type in that short code, which is this, this right here. Um, so if I save it, I don't think it will work yet. We save and refresh. I guess it does work. Um, I guess to be safe, you want to do this next step. This is something that was also told to do. If you go to your functions.php, scroll down to the bottom right before this. Well, you can go anywhere, but just keep it clean right before here. I'm just going to do a comment that's going to be enable shortcode. And here we're going to type in add underscore filter. So this is telling WordPress to add a filter and it's going to be the filter called um, the underscore content comma oops let me zoom in here as well all right hopefully that's better for you guys um, so we have the content and then we're also going to add this do underscore short code and then comma and 11 i'm not sure what that means but i'll just put it to stay safe so now if I save that, and I thought this was required to show this image slider, but I guess not. Um, I guess you can add it if you want. I would do it just to stay safe. It's just an extra line of code that it's not really going to hurt anything. So there we go. That's the quick way to make short code work inside of your, uh, your PHP file. That way it's hard coded and your client's not going to mess around in here. Here's some other short coding that I could throw in, but I'm just going to leave that there. 
hopefully that helped. If you have any questions or requests for tutorials, feel free to send me a PM or leave it in a comment. And um, let me know if this helps you. Take care and be sure to subscribe. See you.